right, how's it going everybody? Monday, March 15th. So just doing a top-down approach. What's the SPY doing? What are the Qs doing? So SPY, nice and strong, above the short-term moving averages. You know, obviously it's nice when the market continues to go higher, but that's not always the case. We've had a pretty big move from right around, you know, 375 area. So just to kind of get a guide and an idea of direction, prior day's high, 394.21, we get above that. All time high, 395.65. So just knowing those areas. And there is a little bit of space down to the short term moving averages. So for some reason, we decide to pull in, just knowing that in order to get there first, have to take out prior day's low. So 391.20 marked. So those are the levels on SPY that I'm looking at. And then also just looking at Q's, prior day's high, which is 318.23. And then also knowing that the 20 SMA is just above it. So that is gonna be resistance. And then if for some reason there's some selling and weakness in the market, just knowing where prior day's low is, 311.39. So those are some of the levels I'm watching on SPY and Q's. And then my watch list, looking at Tesla, favorite stock to trade. I have prior day's high, pre-market low, pre-market high. And then I also have the 20 SMA area marked because that will be resistance right around 703. Also looking at Penn, because this got added to the S&P, nice big gap up, you know, pre-market high 140.95. And then the after hours high after the announcement was 141.85. So just knowing those levels. Also looking at NXPI getting added to the S&P 500. This looks pretty good, nice big gap up. 198.94 pre-market high and then all-time high is 219. Also looking at Airbnb. This looks pretty good on the daily. So I have prior days high mark 208.70, pre-market high 212.10 and then just knowing that this is close to all-time high. So reclaim the short-term moving averages nice and strong. Looks pretty good. Also watching Boeing. So Boeing is definitely extended on the daily. It doesn't mean it can't go further, but in the back of my mind, knowing that it's one, two, three, four days up in a row with the fifth day gap up, I wanna be careful about going long this, but if this has a long period of consolidation, takes out the high a day, this would be a decent setup that I wouldn't mind taking. And then also on my list, which is a little more secondary, is just this VIAC, very strong. I mean, this is very extended, but a lot of times these go much further than everybody anticipates. Prior day's high is 95.27. If it takes that out, it just feels like this gets to 100. Doesn't have to do it today, but just kind of that psychological whole number 100 above. So that's what I'm watching. And now once again, like I always talk about, it's just about being patient. In a perfect world, I would like some of these to pull back a little bit off the open, consolidate for a bit, give a nice high of day area as reference, and then hopefully have a clean setup. And being that it's Monday morning, I'm just making sure to kind of check my psychology it's pretty easy to, to get a little overly antsy, want to take trades every second, over trade like crazy. So just making sure, take a deep breath, remain calm, don't feel the need to have to trade so fast off the open. Really try to patiently wait for something that looks really good and then give it a chance. And there's the bell. So let's see what today brings. Just like that, VIAC took out that prior day's high. In a perfect world, I really would like if this pulled back a little bit, had a few minutes of consolidation, and then took out that level, not the first 30 seconds of the morning. Doesn't mean it can't go higher, but just, you know, if I have any, any preferred setup, it would have been, you know, more consolidation before it takes out that technical level. We got Boeing on the move, very quickly took out pre-market high, NXPI, a little crazy, pretty spready. I'd like this to, to tighten up a bit, but if this can get to 200, make a new all-time high, I mean, in this market, even though it hasn't been as strong as prior, when stocks are making new all-time highs, they can really get some follow-through. Got NXPI, that was a nice move. Big candle. So we got pre-market high 198.94, and then all-time high 219. A few more minutes of consolidation would be great. Still pretty whippy though, and a little spready. I'm also watching Tesla out of the corner of my eye. That's kind of my momentum indicator in a way, and it is trading right towards pre-market lows. So I just want to see, does this break through market low, show some weakness, or does it finally catch some support? Turn around, pushed right into prior day's high and failed. Spread on NXPI is much better. It's good to see that tighten up a little bit. So just watching, watching everything together is one. I don't see anything I like too much yet. Waiting a little bit off the open has been much better. So rather than taking any sort of quick pattern, just let 10, 15 minutes go by. Let everything do what it has to do. And then if a clear direction is chosen, a little bit easier for me to see a setup that I like. So NXPI just not really, not really doing what I wanted it to do. doesn't mean it can't, but at least just for now. Moving a little slow. It does have the big gap up. So just being aware that it is up a lot. 
But knowing that high a day is 198.30, all-time high is above. If this thing can kind of hang around here, reclaim VWAP, more volume come in, take that out, that looks pretty good. But right now, it's just kind of drifting around on low volume. NXPI, giving it up. It just wasn't, wasn't a strong move. I wanted to see that push hold up in this area, remain strong, and then take out 198 for all-time high above. I still don't see anything very clean, and I think the reason for that is just looking at SPY. That's a little choppy right there. That is not clean price action. Also looking at Q's. Q's showing a little bit more weakness than SPY. So the market is very undecisive, and because of that, I think you got some choppy price action going on right now. I still don't see much. I mean, I'm watching, but this is where trading can be very tough. Just waiting, at least for me, the setups that I like, what makes me feel good. And even just looking kind of at Tesla right here, like this did look like a nice flag, but shorting Tesla near low a day can be such a tough trade unless the market is really falling apart. It's easy to catch you. And, you know, this looks all right, but sometimes just waiting another minute or two can prevent me from over anticipating something and taking a very quick loss. And then there you go. <laughs> that flag was actually a decent setup, but the volume is low and it's just, it's not clean movement. So even that break, a little nutty. You know, I really like when. The price action is clean, the patterns are clean, the market has chosen a direction, especially now. You know, a little different than 2020. 2021, the trading has not been as easy. And for me, waiting really allows me to see the best setup that fits, you know, my criteria. And if I try to overtrade in between, I can get really chopped up. Okay, so we have the market waking up a little bit. Spy found a little bit of support. Q's nice move. So now because of that, Tesla's getting a pretty big move. If Tesla can consolidate for a bit, take out this 695 area, that looks decent. Maybe he gets the psychological hole number 700 above. Nice move on Tesla. That was a decent candle. High day, 694.87. I'm looking at the 695 calls. Got red to green, technical level high a day above, psychological hole number 700 above. Doesn't mean it has to get there, but just knowing it is above. Got some size at 694. I'd like to see that get taken out. All right, high day, four contracts, 696. Love to see it get through that. All right, very nice. And now we got pre-market high, 697.74. Love to see if this could get there. That was a very nice move, a lot of buying. A little bit of a pullback, which I don't love to see. Did just break high day, so I'm trying to be a little bit more patient with this. But if it if it ends up pulling back more, I just I need to get out of it. Still very nice strong move off the lows. My entry was not the best either, but still still feel pretty good, especially if spine cues can hold up. Looking like a nice flag pattern. Takes out 697, looks pretty good. Love to see some buyers really step in. There we go. Nice move. All right, took a little bit for that to to work out, but sometimes being patient can work. Pre market highs right at it love to see this get to 698 market still holding up big move very nice now can we get to 700 psychological hole number above all right one more push and i'm going to get out of this but i want to that was a very nice move buyers clearly in control big move very nice i'm going to take that off right there so that took a little bit to to work out but because that move was so big I felt pretty good about giving this a couple minutes to, to kind of digest that move. And also knowing that it just took out high day, it did have pre-market high above, it also had the psychological hole number 700 above, had no idea if it was gonna get there, but just knowing that, especially with Tesla, sometimes it can. So I was in that trade probably a little bit longer than I normally am. I mean, I was in that for four minutes and a lot of my videos, you see me in trades for like one or two minutes. And at the same time, I'm trying to always be careful about holding something if it's not going in my favor right away. But just knowing the personality of Tesla and realizing that sometimes, you know, it can take a minute or two. And my entry was not amazing. You know, I got in a little after 695, but every time it came back down, just seeing that it kept getting bought up, kept getting bought up, it was above the nine EMA, big move from the lows, buyers clearly in control, just wanted to give it a couple minutes. And then the moment that it took out 696, broke that flag again, pre-market high above, very nice move. And of course, this continues to go a lot further than where I got out, but you know me, really started to speed up, got right through 700, nice big move from the lows, so I just took it off for a nice win. So clearly buyers are in control with Tesla. So now, if this can have a little bit of consolidation, 
form a clean flag pattern that's already had a huge move. I don't want to chase this, you know, five, 10 minutes and then take out the high a day. I think that would be another good setup. Get above 708. One more push. Very nice move. Nice flag. I was a little early to that, to be honest. But still looked pretty good. I mean, Tesla is in a very strong uptrend. Through 712. Very nice. Order. Right, I'll take that quick move. That was a sketchy trade. I was kind of got in it a little early. Pulled back. Still looked like a very nice flag. Didn't really go as quick as I wanted to see it. Also knowing my entry wasn't amazing, so I just got out of the trade for a small win. So to be honest, I, I dealt with some pullbacks there. The only reason that I felt okay about maybe holding a little bit longer than I normally do is because one, Tesla daily has been pretty beat up. It reclaimed the nine EMA. It just got back above the 20 SMA. So as far as the, the shorter term trend over the last week, it has been to the upside. And then even on the intraday, big move off the lows. So that was just a situation where I kind of just trusted the trend. Now, I don't ever want to get to a point where I just buy and hold something and then hope. But just knowing that buyers were clearly in control, it's pretty hard to get a perfect entry every single trade. And, you know, sometimes I will get an entry that is okay, it's not perfect, and then give it a minute or two to really develop. And then if it clearly starts to move the other way, that's when I need to bail. But being that this was above the nine EMA the whole time, I felt pretty good about it. And then up here, a little bit of a chase that was kind of a nasty topping tail, but very quickly got back above it. And then once it got through 710, had that feeling that it was going to take out this high, this 71098. And then on the quick move, just get out of the position. So far from perfect entries, entries are something that I can continuously work on. Just like anybody else, we all know that we can get better entries when it comes to taking trades. So could have done a little bit better in that, but I'll take it two for two and decent wins on the day. Okay, so 45 minutes into the day, two quick trades, and this is the spot right now where I know if I continue to trade, there's a chance that I'll give back profits. So this is a time for me to just call it. So now to go check out the P&L. Up 835 on the 695 calls and up 354 on the 710s to be up $1,188 on the day, which is great. And that's gonna be it for me. So thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.